Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So prior to this I was trying to think of like something to talk about and random just like random topics started rustling through my head. As I was doing this, every now and then I get like vague smaller like descriptions on them and on others it'd be like super detailed. And it got me thinking about the fact that in the world, conversing can have one kind of problem sometimes. And that de ter that's determined on who you're talking with. Now the reason I say this is exactly what I described at the beginning. Whether you converse in description, vagueness, and two things that I did not list. The other two things would be that of whether you speak in literally, like literal sense all the time, or if you're more metaphorical a lot of the time. It got me thinking and made me think of a lot of different types of conversations I've had prior to this with several different types of individuals. And it kind of it's interesting to me, specifically at least, to see how many people nowadays, like you'll try and talk to them and you'll be like, well, it's like blah 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 blah, like you'll say something in a comparison, comparison's sake, but you're not saying it is that thing, but the person you're talking to will take it as if you're saying it is that thing. Um, like for example, let's use the sentence... Um, your perfume smells like a wet dog. I know. Or if you want to go down the guy's description, let's say, hmm, your cologne smells like wet dog. There are a large chunk of people in the world who will take that as, really? Is it old or something? Meaning they get that it's just, it smells bad. So the person will take it as, wait, is it just old? It's not supposed to smell bad. It's not supposed to smell that bad. Others will literally go, are you calling me? Are, 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 others will take it as, are you saying I reek? Are you calling me a wet dog? It really depends on the person you're talking to. And another prime example of this would be like comparisons. If you try to compare um, people to certain circumstances or certain other individuals, sometimes they'll take it as you're literally calling them that exact person rather than comparing to the person. But there are also some people who will, you'll, you'll say, like literal things all the time, and I'll take it as like, 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 like metaphors or personification or something like that. Like, uh, let's use an example here. Say someone, some say that somebody calls uh, another individual. A fool and they're not being like metaphorical or anything they're like the calling them basically calling them an idiot for all you know the person could take it as you're just I mean, they could take it as you're calling them like a jester you, you could be like calling this saying that they're basically similar to what a jester is yes an idiot but more in a clownish way when you probably could just be saying that they're just stupid, downright stupid. And thinking about all these different kind of things that think people could interpret circumstances as when it could be something else or vice versa, uh, it, it's what kind of peaks the, the, in, the in my mindset of where does this difference come from? How far back does it go? Because nowadays, it's like playing a game of telephone. 
you'll say one thing and then by the time it reaches the ears of who you're initially trying to have it reached, it could be said as something entirely different. There is one word that, that I can think of off the fly that gives a perfect example of what I'm talking about. And that word is actually, bear in mind, I'm not talking about the slang term, but fag. That particular word, well, that's the shorter term of the word, but everyone knows the actual word. Um, I, with the original meaning meaning, like, I believe gay, like literal gay people. Not a bad thing, it's just another term for it. But the problem is, it's a slang term. It never was an actual word word since, like, what, the early 1800s? Since then, I mean, it is still a word, but most of the terms that it describes, it's slang. And because of all the slang in the world, that's just one example of several hundreds of thousands of slang terms out there. It's one of those things where if you're old school enough, you could say the word and be meaning it genuinely, kindly, and just referring to its original base term. Whereas you say that to anybody nowadays and they'll take it immediately as an insult. Now this is a very doubtful going to happen kind of example, but it gets the point across. And realistically, it's just sad. It's, it's very kind of upsetting that unless you know every variant of um, discussive terminology and you know literally all 7.1 billion people on the planet and which of each group of these talks in which ways and somehow you can adapt into every single one of these ways it's impossible to communicate with everybody you know and get out of it scot-free it's just because of the miscommunication because of the different ways people discuss things or exert things for example this is based off a stereotype some people do abide by it but some people don't um, in some locations of the US um, there are people who will like say everything in a literal sense literally everything and if you go to that and talk to them and say one thing metaphorically they could potentially immediately take it as a literal statement which could really screw you over when you think about it but the same concept goes in the reverse in other places people have been taught to like just speak metaphorically with every now and then having a literal statement, but for the most part it's metaphors, personifications, hyperboles, um, and people would do that. If a literal, if someone who spoke about everything in a literal sense all the time spoke to them, you're just asking for problems of misinterpretation. These things are far and in between though, and for the most part, people do have a tendency to adapt into conversations pretty easily nowadays. So this isn't exactly common, but it is a good example of where my mind, what, what, what I'm talking about. But either way, I don't know. These are kind of my thoughts on, mis on miscommunication, how bad it can get. What do you guys think? You think I missed anything else? Anything else I could have probably uh, added to what I was talking about? If you have anything to add, let us know in the comments below. Um, and how about a little bit of a question for this episode? How about you guys? Are you more of a literal discusser where you like talking, you like stating things as is in a literal sense all the time? Or do you at least like throwing different pieces of symbolism in there? Or is it something else? I don't know. You can answer this question if you'd like or not. But let us know in the comments below if you do want to answer. If you want to play along, more or less. Um, but yeah.
Thanks again for tuning in this video, guys. Check the link on this side of my head for any other discussion and rants, and this side for anything you may enjoy a bit more if this isn't quite floating your boat. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in the video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys later. See ya.